Oh, good morning. You join me on day two. I have made myself a cup of tea, and I actually have a confession at the moment, uh, because I'm not drinking full calf tea. I've actually switched to decaf, and the reason for that is that I'm letting my voice recover. I've got a funny feeling that there is something going on there, but I can actually feel cracks in my voice. And I'm actually going through a bit of retraining at the moment, in the hope that I can sing in a way that doesn't damage my voice. It might not surprise you to know that sort of my background was in the sort of more rock and roll side of things. So, when I was 14 and 15 I was out literally screaming my head off in various pubs and bars in Doncaster and other parts of South Yorkshire with my band The Local Heroes, uh, which was great fun, but it definitely did some interesting damage to my voice. So I'm hoping to retrain, and one of the things that I'm doing is I'm actually going totally decaf with everything in the hope that I can hydrate myself a little bit better. And to be honest with you, I actually feel a lot better doing it. So, hooray for decaf. And this is the Rington's decaf, so I am still being true to Rington's with that. And it does taste really good, so why not? So I have got a plan to meet ABC today, because I'm going to borrow his SM7B microphone. You might remember it from when I recorded notes to self in this very room. It's just a great microphone for recording live vocals with, because I'm hoping to actually record like the guitar part and put some backing vocals on at the same time. We'll see how that goes. Um, just sort of thinking about how I'm going to do it. And he's always kind enough to lend me his gear. So I've already made that plan, but for effect, I am going to give him a phone call now and see when he's free. So if we're breaking down the illusion, let's do it. Where are you? Where are you, ABC? Okay. You might not even answer, who knows? He's not going to answer, is he? Welcome to the EE. No. Cool. Well, I am going to go over there anyway because I'm meant to be meeting him quite soon. So, that went well. because I've got the windows down because I'm following a rule that me and my friend Adam the guy who you saw for like two or three seconds in the last vlog yeah a rule that we used to have that when you're in Doncaster if it was sunny you put your windows down and this is pretty much the last time of year when you can do it without being absolutely freezing. So, my hair's all over the place, you can't hear me, but I'm not breaking the rules. Well that was totally worth it. Not only did it totally mess my hair up, but also some people at a bus stop really appreciated me blasting the Greatest Showman soundtrack, so good journey all around. Keep your windows down when the sun's out, that's the rule. Playing uh, football once a week now, bike riding. Really? Oh, by the way, good to see you. <laughs> I'm good, yeah. So what's going on? What are you doing today? Uh, you've caught me on the day when I'm just sat here recording some stuff. Oh, fantastic. You're doing one of your drum playthroughs then? Yeah, well, the idea was I was going to just put some Instagram content out, some drumming. Ah, that's really interesting because I've been talking about this. Because, like, it's weird, isn't it, that you put out, like, a minute of your, like, your best playing, but... How have you actually? How do you narrow that down? How do you, how do you go through this process? Just, that's what I'm in the process of doing now. I've got like, when I start practicing, I'll just sit and play for like 10, 15 minutes, film the whole thing, record the whole thing, because it's always just set up in there to do that, which is uh -huh. which is quite nice. So if I if I get inspired to play, I'll just come in and sort of set up to record, put a camera on, yeah, and record. And then if I'll sit down and I get inspired by something that I've played, yeah, I'll have a look at it a bit deeper. Um, Okay, so like, like, come come with me into the drum room for a second, right? Like, like hypothetically, you're doing you're doing a drum playthrough now, right? And you yeah. sit down at the kit. You imagine you have got all your cameras set up and stuff I'm like that. Oh, look at here. yeah, perfectly there, ready and to then go. That's for the the phone clip. I'm ah, right. There. So you got two angles. Pretty much. Ever the professional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you're sitting down. Yeah, like, never. <laughs> <laughs> Check out my studio. Check out my studio. So you're sitting down at your kit. Yeah. And you're like, you're gonna make something out of nothing, aren't you? Yeah. So you're like, what do you usually do? Just like, kind of, you've got some ideas going around in your head. And yeah. You think, so I'll, 
Someday, obviously, you'll know as a musician. You just sometimes you just want to sit at your instrument and just play it, don't you, for a bit? That's fair. Practice or just play through some stuff. I'll literally just sit down. That only records for ten minutes. So. Oh, okay. So you're on like quite a tight time frame. It kind of limits my process. So. I'll yeah. Sit and play for what I think is about ten minutes. Yeah. Get up, turn it off, turn it back on, try a different vibe. But I'm constantly tuning my snare up and down, just looking for. Yeah. You know, it's it's weird. It's just. Sometimes you sit behind your instrument and you've got that sound in your head and you just crank your snare up and you'll do something like the police, Stuart Copeland or something. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes we'll sit down and drop tune everything and like get like ash down or calm with it. I was going to say as well, like with the 10 minute thing, I definitely feel that. Do you always feel the pressure knowing that maybe your 10 minutes is almost up? Yeah, especially if I'm like shredding something that I really like. <laughs> <laughs> just like, just like well, 9 well, minutes 30 seconds. Like, well, I get the minute. <laughs> But, yeah. That's but, bad, isn't it? You've got to live your life bad, isn't it? No, you're right, though, and that's it. And not only that, but then you've then got to narrow that down. How do you usually choose the best bit? Do you then walk away, or...? Yeah, I'll walk away. Uh, have a drink, have a break. Yeah. Um, probably have it on in the background, just playing around somewhere quiet. Yeah, just looping. And then something, something might jump out of me, I'll run back in and, like, loop a bit. And just play. Ah, OK. No, and that's fair. Just, I'll line it up with the video and it's good to you. Yeah, and, fair. So, I mean, that's a good way of solving the problem, isn't it? Because your end product, like, anyone who hasn't actually seen ABC's little clips, they are worth checking out. Because you do little tutorials as well, don't you? Where you, like, yeah. you start slow and speed it up. Talking uh, the other day about this idea of, like, putting, like, the perfect idea of yourself out there. You yeah. clearly choose your best bits. But... There's some, there's some crap that if I put out, I won't have as many followers. Well, this is it. And uh, would you dare, if that camera ran for an hour, would you dare to put out an hour of yourself practising? I've always wanted to do it. Yeah. But it don't run for longer than 10 yeah, minutes. Yeah, just 10 minute clips. <laughs> I, will do it. I'll put a, I, I was thinking about putting this full 10 minutes out. Yeah. Because I thought it was quite cool that I've, I've made sort of a minute with some bass and some guitar on it. Yeah. So I thought if I put the full 10 minutes out and then make the feature the minute yeah. from, the, from the Instagram clip, I could then put it onto YouTube and say, this is the process of... Yeah. Sort of how it's done. Because it's not like, many people break it down, do they? Because it's a lot like of my frustration and throwing sticks. And... Yeah, no, fair enough. And I think it's that's honest, isn't it? Because we do spend a lot of time sitting and playing and trying yeah. to get it right. And the reason I always pick my best minute is because I don't want to. I want to put something out that's a good product. Because yeah, the drumming is not all I offer. It's the it's the recording and the service and the production. In the day and age that we live in now, you sort of create your own brand. Yeah, your, your identity is a brand, and I'm not sure to get like. You, if you follow me on social media, you see that I have down times and I will post when I'm not feeling happy or... Yeah, exactly. Or whatever. My life isn't like rose tinted, but my Instagram and my social media is like my product. So yeah. the stuff that I put out relating to the product is always as good as I can... Yeah, exactly. I feel that. And I think, that, to be honest, there's a real element of bravery, particularly in this day and age, where you have to kind of turn around and say... I don't always get this right. Yeah. You know, I've yeah. certainly sat there at the piano and played for hours and I'm just trying to like, trying to nail like a C major scale, you know yeah. what I mean? And you're just like, I'm not, yeah. I don't, doesn't feel right and stuff like that. But I'd never, well, I wouldn't say I'd never show that to the world, but I haven't shown that to the world yeah. because I don't you'd, know. You'd, the thing is, you'd, you'd show it to friends as well. Like if I came round to your house and you were like, oh, I've played all this, I'd, yeah. I'd show you that, you can listen to any part of that. Absolutely. But sometimes you feel, Probably the the pressure to be better, but you feel like you want to put your best side out. Cause it's yeah, your, it's, it's it's your shop window. Yeah, it's like of course it is. You're gonna get working. Yeah, you want to look really good. Like if my drums sound good, my playing sounds good. You might get drum teching jobs. Yeah, video sounds it all. Absolutely, it, it makes sense for me to to do each element of the product as, as good as possible. Yeah, totally. Yeah, no, Such a historic location, isn't it, this? Because we, what, yeah. Catch me over here. Oh yeah, look, oh yeah, look, there we go, look. It's like the waste of the summer cover again. Oh wow. And then we had, wait, what happened there? Was Jonas sat on that? I can't John, remember. sat all over this <laughs> So ABC is going for the uh, socks and sliders look, obviously. Yeah. Uh, footballers do it because it's good for your feet, and now I do an hour five a side a week. Like I owe it to myself to have comfortable feet. Well, yeah, you're a professional. Not only that, but I've gone for the total opposite, which is massive boots. There we are. Um, I say massive, but I have tiny feet. <laughs> my slides are bigger than your boots. <laughs> Unbelievable. Look at that. Where's the back of my foot? Really? There you go. But yeah, the thing is, I'll get to the end of today. That's the thing that you won't experience with this. I'll get to the end of today and I'll feel mint because <laughs> I'll take my boots off. Yeah. <laughs> and it just feels like I've really yeah, accomplished something. something. What a strong message. Right, yeah. I'll see you yes. on Friday.
see you on Friday. Pleasure. Thank you for talking to me Pleasure. as well. Honesty in music, it's a new concept that we are pioneering. Yes. Oh, trap my foot in the door. Well, that was good. Me and ABC had a bit of lunch, had a catch up. I've asked him if he'd like to drum on the track. So I'm going to come back on Friday, all being well. Um, but in the meantime, I've got an SM7B to track some live vocals with. So yeah, I'm going to head home now and see what everyone else is doing. So, now that I'm back, I'll be honest, I'm starting to feel a little bit agitated. I'm starting to feel a bit anxious. Maybe you can hear it in my voice, who knows? But I know that my next step is to meditate because before I do anything else, I need to make sure that I feel a bit more balanced, a little bit more calm. Not happier, not more enthusiastic, not more inspired. That's not what I meditate for. I meditate to find the bit in the middle because the bit in the middle is the best bit. We've talked about that before. No tension, no expectation and approaching it with what you would call beginner's mind, you know, like I'm doing it for the first time. So I've got my cup of decaf tea and in the next couple of minutes, I'm gonna meditate. Okay, so I'm back. It's a lot later in the evening for two reasons. Number one is that the camera ran out of battery, so I had to recharge that. Really didn't think about that. And also I've been out teaching. I have had some ideas, and I've realised that tonight I actually really do need to get the main parts of the song down so that when we go into the studio in a couple of days' time, there will be something for Alex to play on. But before that, I'm quite tired and I'm quite hungry, so I'm going to sort that out first. I'm guessing a lot of you are probably thinking this is quite late to have a meal, but it's the nature of what I do. I tend to get in quite late anyway, and I am quite hungry. So I'm doing myself a sort of bacon, mushroom, pasta thing with some cream cheese. Just something simple I like to knock together. Do you want to say that again? Oh, nobody cares. <laughs> Lizzie just heard me vlogging in the kitchen and said nobody cares, so... Uh... Thanks. Sibling yeah, really, is that right? What are you doing? Like, did you see what I just did there? No, what did you do? My face like changed. I feel like I was possessed for like two seconds. Maybe you were, bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you were. Maybe you were. Bye. What are you playing on? Um roller coaster tycoon. Only the true OGs will remember with a glass of wine because I'm older now. <laughs> okay, there we are. Can't argue with that. What kind of wine is it? Um I had, oh, Pinot. 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 Excellent. Yeah. It's an exotic evening. You got some Colleen Ballinger on. <laughs> you got a glass of wine. You're playing Roller Coaster Tycoon. Yeah, my phone's died. All right, fair enough. Guess what? Nobody cares. <laughs> okay, we're back. So my plan is to sit here with this cup of decaf tea and see how much I can do before I physically cannot do any more and need to go to bed. I'm probably going to be alternating between acoustic guitar, bass, electric guitar, just layering things up, trying to get a sound out of it. I think I know what I'm going to do. I've got a couple of ideas going around in my head at the moment. I'm just going to try a couple of things. But that's me sort of for the rest of the evening. <laughs> 